Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Remember in the last video I said that I had some goodies for us to talk about from Sephora. So today is that day. So let's get started. <coughs> okay, so the first thing that I picked up was the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I am in the color Golden. And I also have the Steeler Face Primer. And I also have the Hourglass Face Primer. And then I have the Hourglass Translucent Veil Powder. These two are just a travel size. I just want to try them out. See how they are before I purchase because both of them are on the pricey side and I don't want to purchase them and they not work or you know I don't like them so I started off with travel size for these but these two right here I've already used them in combination amazing pair this foundation I ran some errands the other day I put this on with the Steeler Face Primer. Amazing. But I wanted to try it out today for you guys and I'm actually going to take out the steel primer today and I'm going to be using the Hourglass Primer and the Hourglass Veil Powder along with the Disrespect along with the Born This Way Foundation and then again I am in the color Golden. So y'all know that my aunt was here visiting. It was actually my aunt, my cousins, and her husband. They all came here to visit me. I'm on my too. Oh my God. This is so like velvety and soft. Mm. Uh -oh. I need no white caster. <gasps> Y'all, this primer is so soft. I don't think I've ever tried anything from Hourglass. I do, however, want to try the brush that they have. It's a dual side brush. I think one side is for contouring. I mean, I'm sorry, not contour. Um, until and the other side is for like um setting powder and stuff. But sixty four dollars. I don't know if I want to pay that much money for that. Uh, is it worth it? <laughs> Is it worth it? Do they have a trial size brush so I could try it first? Okay. Don't mind me. Right now we're going to be moving in with the Too Faced going this way. And this foundation says it's a hundred percent This foundation 100% blurred their imperfections. Says this foundation made the skin look absolutely perfect. Says the foundation natural coverage. Yes. It's medium to full coverage. It's buildable. It's just a very good foundation. It was only $40. Damping your beauty blender when you apply foundation is very important. I've learned. Look at that. Let's get down here and cover this up. And the scars. I 
I worked for maybe five, four, you know, four or five hours. And I'm moving on to concealer. And I'm going to be using um, I'm just going to be going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Anyways, um, if I had it on for about four or five hours, and normally when I put on foundation, which I don't mind because I have dry skin, I tend to get um, in my T-zone. It's like, mm, I say a healthy amount of dew. I don't look, you know, too, too, um, so cool, yeah. I don't look like sweaty crazy. I just, you know, look do, do. The natural glow comes through. I shine. And which before, because every foundation that I ever tried always did to me L'Oreal, Maybelline, even when I did the Huda Beauty, every foundation that I ever tried always did that to me. I never minded. I dealt with it. Whatever. This foundation does not do that. I had this foundation on for like four or five hours as I said before and it did not do that at all. The only thing that was shining on me was my highlight that day. That was it. Like I was impressed. Very impressed. Like I said I don't mind the do but it's like it doesn't dry matte. It's not matte. You know, there's like a little bit of sheen right here in my forehead. So it doesn't, it's like a satiny matte, I'll say that. It doesn't say that it's matte. Mm. Definitely looks like skin. So far, it says everything. Everything that it says on the box is living up to. I'm excited because lately I've been having a lot of fails when it has been coming to foundation. Like before, the L'Oreal True Match was like my holy grail foundation, and then all of a sudden it just stopped working on me. And then I went and I tried the Huda Beauty. And I wasn't impressed. It's full coverage. Yes, I would give it that. But it, I think it was too dry for my skin. Even I would use, you know, I would um, spritz my face beforehand with some Fix Plus. I would use a luminizer, a luminizing primer. And it just, it wasn't for me. Okay, so now we're going to be taking that hourglass. Um, veil. Can I say this packaging is so cute, so simple, and so cute? Like, look at this. This is, um, let's see if this is a brightening powder. Oh, if we have one. A little bit, yeah. It is a little bit. Whoa. It's just... Whoa. It's gone. Okay, so, so normally when I use powders, I have to blend it in, push it in real good with the beauty sponge. And then I have to go and kind of diff diffuse it a bit with a powder brush. But this powder, I didn't have to do that. It just, y'all say, it's also country, y'all say, <laughs> y'all see how much I put on my face. 
I didn't put a lot because I didn't know there was brightening on what I want to be too bright under the eye. You know, it's just, it melts into your skin. Like this is. Okay, so my camera cut off. Not sure where we left off at, but I was just raving about how this powder just like literally melts in your skin. Got my way. So, we set the T-zone, the under eye was. Now I'm going to go in, because I see that it's not really a brightening powder, which I don't mind that at all. So, but now that means that I can go in and I can set my face with this powder. Not too much. A little bit goes a long way. But y'all, do y'all see how smooth my skin is? Okay, so normally I'm not a, a fan of skin looking like skin. I don't want to be cakey. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to be cakey. But I do like to look like I have something on my face. Normally. However, this right here, it, 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 it looks like skin. You can still see my moles, my little, um, my little scars over here. I only put two pumps of the foundation. It is buildable. It's medium to full coverage, buildable. So if I wanted to go in and build it up, I could, so I could have more coverage. But I, I don't. I don't know. I don't feel like I need it. My skin looks good. If I do say so myself. Pat on the back. Pat on the back. Thank you. Okay. Moving on. But yeah, I'm impressed. So now in my mirror, I look like one dimension, but in the camera. I'm putting a little box. Okay. So I'm just gonna go in and put some color back into my face. Okay, so I've um, done a little contour, added a little highlight, I've set, we're good. So, like I said before, I've already tried this out. I've worn it for four or five hours. I love it. I will continue to, re I will be repurchasing this as well. The Hourglass Veil Primer. I will be repurchasing the big size instead of the crap size because I do love it. As well as the translucent setting powder. I love them both. This powder, it's not a brightening powder, that's fine. So if you're someone who likes to look extra bright under your skin, then you need that brightening powder. But if you just want to set your foundation and look, oh my god, like it just, it melts into your skin. It's, mm, honey, okay. Where we going? This right here is very velvety, very soft. It makes your skin just smooth. It blurs. I have very poor skin. That's like my biggest problem with foundations and primers is they say that they blur, but they really don't. My pores are very large. Skin is very porous. So I need that primer and need everything to work together. And I know normally when you use primers, you're supposed to use primers with the foundations. But I mean, sometimes you don't always want to do that. So it's good to know that I can mix a primer and a foundation that don't necessarily go together. But they work very good with one another. Now, 
the stealer i know that we didn't use this today but we we'll use this in another video so you guys can you know see how it works but this is actually the first one that i use um under this one the night that i was out and this is another one this one is more it's um it's not as thick it's more of like a water-based primer but it's still very good and it still blurs still good for poor skin so I'm satisfied with my purchase from Sephora oh. if you guys are in the look for a new foundation primers powders I would definitely recommend at least one of each you know if you don't want to do purchase both of them you can just do one you can either do the veil or you can do the sealer I think that they work they both work very good both of them are I think will be for any skin types it doesn't these don't have a preference Stila is a little bit more on the um watery loose side and then hourglass is more velvet thicker cream side but they work very good for poor skin blending out the skin and just making everything seamless and for powders I would definitely recommend the hourglass it melts into your skin it's so good and then y'all already know the born this way foundation is amazing so all is well thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed this video like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one